So for the double belt pocket, I'm repeating that same step I did for this strip. I am going to be sewing the corners at my half an inch seam allowance, clipping the corners, and preparing it to attach it to the other side. Oh, we're using the strips too? Yes. Okay. If it's a very heavy fabric, then I wouldn't, okay. but... However, with the suiting fabric, it's good to fuse it. So again, I'm clipping by staying one eighth inch away from my seam. And I'm cutting the corners and trimming one side a little bit smaller than the other. And of course, I'm gonna flip it inside out now. Again, we have it prepared to be attached. Thank you. So, do you want us to do the double? Yes. You're already prepared for the double. Beautiful. So now that we have the other piece ready, I know that it's supposed to go like this, facing the other side, creating an opening. So this piece, let's say I push it inside to see how it's supposed to be. Right? Which means when I lift this up, I'm connecting these two seams together. So I'm going to just line them up. Now again, take that extra moment and have things perfectly lining up. So I'm making sure my corners are lining up and also the, that I'm lining up right in the center. Once I have it perfectly lined up, before I sew it, I'm just gonna make sure and double check. Everything's good for me. Once it is, I can go ahead and sew it. So again, you can either sew it from your pressed side or the other side, whatever makes sense for you. As I'm going, I'm making sure that there is nothing else getting caught in my seam, just what I want to sew. As 
I'm at the end, I am securing by back stitching. Once I have it done, see when it's flipped in, you have your pocket, right? Now we have to just attach our pocket bags to it and we're done, right? Okay, so what you want to do is we have one bag here. We're using it by going like this, right? So what I'm doing first is I am attaching my bag like this right here by aligning my notches together because we have it at the same measurement and i'm going to sew it down i can go over the same seam again or i can go a little bit before it but i don't want to go after it because then you're going on your self fabric one side of the bag done all right now I don't need a center seam your other one's gonna come and attach on this side however before I do that I'm gonna give my um, piece a really nice press and I'm gonna do a little head stitch right here so that this piece does not shift on me with you know the gravity or you're using your pocket too much you want it to be nice and stable so i'm going to give it a nice edge stitch right here and once i've attached the pocket you don't want to go and do the edge stitch after because you may just close your pocket right so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now you would want to do the pressing part first okay I'm just finger pressing it right now. And I'm very close to the edge. Now, if you see this, it's nice and secured. It's not moving anywhere anymore, right? Whereas the other one you still see is flapping around, right? You can do that same step again right here, but make sure you have pressed it down nicely. And again, I'm going to go very close to the edge. You can even stitch in the ditch for this. Such a cool little rhyming thing. I love that. Stitch in the ditch. So what that means is that you're literally going in between that seam. So do you see now how it's more stable, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and attach that bag on this side so I can just connect these two seams. Again, I'm making sure I am lining up with the notches and there's nothing else getting caught. If 
If you want, you can use pins right here. We have our pocket bag now I'm sure everybody noticed that your pockets kind of open <laughs> so what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and stitch the side however when we're stitching the side I want to make sure that remember that V shape cut out when I'm sewing I want to make sure that I sew that as well now what that does is we have anchored everything down, up and down, but we haven't treated the corners yet. So I wanna make sure that this doesn't flip out at any point of given time. So I'm gonna give it a little sew down. So I can just move everything out of the way if that helps. And you can just sew your seams right there. Now, if at this point you feel like you need any pins to hold things down, please do use them. And I'm just making sure everything's perfect here. So now you can either start at the top or at the bottom. I'm again using my half an inch seam allowance. double stitch that part as well and I'll show you the difference between both sides so we have one side that's anchored down see how it's not shifting anymore whereas this side is still open so we're gonna go ahead and seal the other side as well and once that is done then you're gonna top stitch and secure these parts down and you're done so again, I'm making sure my V is out. I move everything out of the way. And it's perfect, seems like it is right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that side as well. And that also closes my pocket. I'm just back stitching the V shape again just for extra security and you have yourself a functional pocket right cool so now my last step right here is, I know, went a little hard with that. <laughs> now my last step here is to secure these lines down. Again, it really helps using the same color thread and sewing in the ditch. 
However, I'm using a contrasting thread just so you guys can see properly. So I'm going very, very close to the edge. I'm lining them up. So if you see now, this is nicely anchored down, right? I'm going to repeat that step on the other side and then you are done. I'm just gonna pin this one a little bit as it keeps shifting. Okay, and you guys have yourself a nice functional double welt pocket. Sweet, mm -hmm. and you have a pocket bag. This is what it looks like from inside. And remember, we used the same bag to just kind of flip over. That's why we did it a little longer. However, you're most welcome to have a seam here. And your back layer can be self fabric if you don't wanna see the contrasting fabric or your lining in here. You can very much change this back piece to a self fabric and this piece can always remain as your lining or contrasting fabric to avoid bulkiness and then you only see your self fabric peeking through. Alright? Would you serve along the sides? Yes, yes you can.